Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, um, you know, more of the same, guys. Really, um, it, it's it's quite simply a situation where we are in the process of riding the upper Bollinger Band and trying to find where the high is. You can get into a lot of trouble trying to short every blip along the way thinking that's going to be it. I find it very unlikely that we do any kind of a meaningful reversal. And that's a meaningful reversal for me is in excess of, you know, 10 to 15 handles. I find it very difficult to see us doing that without really moving above this line here, the upper Bollinger Band. We touched it and moved above a little bit. But you know, we just really would have to see an overreaction and a move through. Also, as we sit now at 1673, and I spoke last week uh, uh, when we broke through uh, the uh, the 50 area, the 4950 area that had been so difficult that it was, you know, at this point the bears were exposed to a move to the upper Bollinger Band. And we got that, but I think it's going to be a bigger move. So I'm not recommending any swing shorts right now. Um, my opinion of that changes if we trade below the prior day's low of the day, 66.25. Does that mean you short 66? Absolutely not. We do not short weakness. You do not short in the hole. Um, never short in the hole. What you do then is you understand on a trade below that prior day low that it's about ready to go. Typically, there's a rally after that, and then you start looking to sell that rally. That's the that that's the functionality of that trade. So, but it's very difficult to short for anything beyond a scalp until that prior day low is breached. If if you do that, then you're essentially trying to pick the top and that can be a very dangerous thing especially in a market that's this strong especially in a market that's only you know 10 to 12 handles away from testing the 1685.75 high I think it's an area that's going to need to be tested we've come too far not to test it we're off, off the 1553's, we're 120 handles off the lows uh, we're 12 handles off highs do we just go ahead and make a lower high and and die here? Maybe, but that hasn't that that's typically not the way the market has played out. So getting short just because the market is up X handles in X days, or the rate of ascent is X handles in X days, is not a reason to get short the market. Getting short because the market's been going up too long is not a is not a short strategy. Okay. It's a let's pick the top because I don't want to buy it strategy. So stay away from that. Um, be patient, find your entry, and um, your your account will thank you and so will your blood pressure. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Bakke, PrinstonTrader.com. Check out the website, check out the chat room. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.